Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for checking out today's video. We are gonna be installing some Noble rain guards on my 22WRX. I've been wanting to get rain guards for this thing for a little bit now because the weather is starting to warm up. It is 70 degrees in February in Pennsylvania. I am mind blown, it feels incredible, but these are the new Noble OEM style rain guards. And uh, I get rain guards for two reasons, obviously. Number one, keeps the rain out. When it is raining, you can crack your window and not have to worry about the rain flying in and hitting you in the face. And number two, when it's really hot outside and you wanna crack your windows, but don't want people to really know that your windows are cracked and stick their sticky fingers in there, it is nice to have them there. It kind of hides the fact that your windows are cracked a little bit. So those are the two main reasons I get them. So I went with the OEM style just because it's a more sleek look. Now I know there's other styles on the market. Noble actually has another style that's a little more aggressive, um, but I like the sleek OEM style look. I always have, so that's what we're gonna run with today. And as you guys can see, I'm wearing my IIR shirt. So I reached out to Import Image and I was like, hey guys, remember your favorite ex coworker? Like hooked me up with some deals. And uh, they chefed up some deals for me, got me some rain guards. Um, so I'm excited for it. Um, I'm going to be probably working with Noble a little bit more here in the future as well. I really want to get the paint match stuck bill and a couple of other things. I just got to wait, you know, finances, stuff's expensive. Everything's expensive. Car parts are expensive and it sucks. Um, but anyways, we're going to install the rain guards. It should be pretty straightforward. This car is still fairly new. It's very clean and it should be a simple install. It's all 3M tape. So we'll jump into it. All right. So I got my box here. We're going to open this bad boy up. This is a little weird though, to be honest with you. Um, this is the first package I think I've gotten from import since I left there. And I used to be able to just walk out into the warehouse, grab whatever I wanted, punch it all into the computer, take it out, install it, make the video for you guys. And now I have to go on the website, hit up the sales team, order it, get it shipped here. Um, so, but it is nice to be working with them again. I did enjoy working with them down there. I really did, um, but as you guys know, I just had a lot of personal stuff going on. I wasn't able to stay, which is unfortunate, but hey, you know, it's, it's still nice. So anyways, we're going to open this up. I don't know what kind of people are running the warehouse over there, but who puts a box inside of a box? I'd like to know, was this Damien? So we got this thing opened up and our rain guards are inside. Oh, they got some weight to them. Cool. So we got an alcohol prep pad, we got some adhesion promoter, and we got our rain guard. So that is nice that it came with all that. You know, one thing that's actually pretty cool now that I think about it is when I was still working there, Noble actually sent us out a sample for the 22WRX and I test fitted them and everything. And the sample that we got didn't fit because it was more designed for the VA chassis and they had to make changes and everything else and get these over to us. So uh, it's cool just remembering that I had a part in it uh, in some way, shape or form. but. Now here we are, I got my own personal 22WRX. I'm loving it by the way. All right, you know the drill guys. We're gonna take our alcohol prep pad. It's a very busy day, so I'm sorry if you hear the traffic going by. I got out of work a little bit early and decided to install the rain guards. So we're gonna take our alcohol prep pad. I'm actually gonna wipe down all the windows real quick just because I don't want this to dry out before I can get to them. So I'm gonna clean all the windows and then we'll come back and install it. We're just gonna take a tail end of this tape and peel it up. We're gonna find a tail end up here on this piece. So each individual piece of 3M, um, this one might not be worth doing a tail, but you'll see what I'm doing is I'm just peeling a little bit of this backing material and creating what I call a tail. I'm just having some to pull after you lay this down. Because what we wanna do is get this situated about where we want it. So I have this lined up and I'm just gonna pull this tail end. Once I have it where I want it and we can stick it down. So as you can see, I just pulled off that tail end and now I can come down here. I'm actually going to I hate to do that, but I'm gonna start my tail end up here. That way I can, I have one at the bottom and I have one at the top that I can work together. Like so. So the corner should be really easy to line up. So I'm just gonna peel those completely. And now we can kind of walk this down and make sure that we're staying lined up with the top edge of the door. Thank you. 
so easy to install, guys. No effort whatsoever. We're just going to push down along where the 3M tape was. You want to avoid pushing on the rain guard itself for obvious reasons. That's just going to kind of pull away from the tape. I'm so glad that we had a nice warm day to do this. Um, this is the ideal temperature, about 70 degrees. You want to install this stuff. So if it's a little bit colder, you might want to take a hair dryer or a heat gun and just kind of speed dry this. If you don't have a hair dryer or a heat gun, you might just want to wait a little bit before you take the car out on the road. Um, I always do anyway. I always let it sit for a few hours before I drive the car or anything with the parts installed just so the 3M tape has a chance to bond. Then we take this thing, line it up, making sure to keep this lined up with the top edge of the door. As we go down, you can kind of maneuver it a little bit. And just push it down. But that is it for the install, guys. I'll show you what the finished results look like. I'm gonna apologize in advance if it's a little windy out here, but uh, to give my initial review, I think these look very nice. Um, especially from the side profile here, they're very sleek, OEM looking, and I like the dark tint on them. The only gripe that I have with them at all is that in some instances when you're hitting the angle just right, you kind of see like a little bit of dimpling down the sides, but it's not super noticeable. Maybe if I come to the side in the shade, it'll be a little bit less noticeable or a little more noticeable. Here you can kind of see what they look like in general on the car. So if I come to this side, you will see probably what I mean with the dimpling. It's really not hateful, but that's the only gripe that I have with them. Besides that, you know, maybe being out in the sun for a while, that'll kind of go away. Maybe it's just part of the molding process, but overall, I think they look pretty good, especially for the money. They're not very expensive. So there you have it. Well, guys, that's it for today's video. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Again, a big thank you to the guys over at Import Image for getting me a deal on these and shipping them out so quick. I think I had them like the day after I ordered them. So super fast shipping as always. But you can see they have a nice sleek OEM look and they are like a dark tint. It looks really nice. Um, but that's it, guys. I appreciate you watching. As I said, if you're interested, I'll leave a link for both of the styles in the description of the video. But I'll see you in the next one.